Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. You ready? I'm ready. Yes, we got a great topic today, guys. It's a it's a a word I can't pronounce, but I can pronounce the the way we're going to describe it, and that is PT one forty one. And you attempt you attempt the other one. I think it's Brie Melanotide or Brie, something close to that. PT, but we're gonna keep we're gonna yeah. keep with PT one forty one. Its other name is PT one forty one. That's what most people know it by. We're gonna stick with that one. That one's easy. PT one forty one. Yeah. What is it? Okay, so PT one forty one is a melanocyte stimulating hormone that affects sexual arousal. Interesting. So it's a type of peptide that we can take, but okay. the benefit that we're getting out of PT-141 is arousal. Is this for men and women? It or is. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it creates enhanced libido and better erections with this. Um, so for women, it's actually been approved. There's actually an FDA version of this. It's been approved for treating HSDD, um, hypoactive sexual desire disorder. That's super fascinating. You know, I've heard PT-141 a lot and mm -hmm. had no idea that's what it was for. Yep. Yep. Super so it treats ED in men, low libido in women, um, or just overall low libido. Uh, it can also help to increase energy and enhances um, sexual enjoyment. So okay. So can feel better too. Okay. So this is working differently than most medications for ED. Like, you know, you think ED in men, Cialis, Viagra, something like that. Okay. Those are triggering the cardiovascular system. Right. This is actually triggering the nervous system. So it's working in a completely different way. Would people ever use both of them at the same time or is that overkill? Um, probably would be overkill. Okay. It's just working on a different system. Yeah. It's just okay. working differently. Yeah. Um, and, you know, for women, there's not a lot of medicines out there that are approved for women. Right. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll use things off label, but this is actually has, has been researched and has an FDA approval for treatment. In women. That's super fast. Yeah. So this peptide, um, interestingly, was developed from melanotin 2, which I think we have a video on melanotin. We do. We do. Um, so in studying melanotin, they also started seeing that there was increased arousal. Men would be able to have erections easier. And they're like, what's that? So they dug a little bit deeper. And this piece of that peptide is what does that. So they've isolated this out of melanotin too. So I'm assuming with PT-141, you're not going to have the tanning effect. You can have a little bit of the tanning effect. <laughs> <laughs> so the melanotin too, the whole benefit out of that is the tanning. Go back and watch that one if you're interested. Right. This one does still maintain some of those tanning properties. Interesting. Um, so, you know, happy other benefit side effect of it. You might get a little bit more tan with it too. <laughs> you're going to look better too. You're going to look good. You're going to feel great. Everything's going to feel great. Um, so this can be taken either through an injection or through a nose spray. Again, oh, okay. always injections are the most potent way to do things. But if we are like super adverse to needles for some reason, there is a nose spray for it. Interesting. Um, you know, uh, tangent, but okay. like, and totally off topic, but I didn't realize synapsin, which is a nose spray is also a peptide. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. We, we've ha we have a synapsin video. We do. And, uh, I had to rewatch. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's a peptide. It's a peptide. Yeah. There's lots of peptides. And it's a nose and it's a nose spray, but mm -hmm. you're saying PT141 is a nose spray. It can be done in a nose spray as okay. well. Yeah. Um, so dosing for this, typically it's one milligram for men, two milligrams for women okay. is the typical dosing on this. Um, if we're doing injection, anywhere from 30 minutes to six hours prior to planned sexual activity. If we're doing the nose spray, 30 minutes to an hour prior. So okay. you can feel the benefits as quickly as 30 to 45 minutes. Some people, it can take longer. So it's just figuring out your body, how your body responds to it when you really need to take it. The big thing with this one, I advise a maximum of eight doses per month. So it only comes in a tiny little vial, but it's going to last a while because you're not, it, this is not something you're taking on a daily basis. Got it. It's kind of like as needed. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So eight doses per month, um, you know, twice weekly. And one of the reasons is that the half-life of this, this can remain effective in your system for 24 to 36 hours after okay. injection. Okay. So we're getting some prolonged benefits from it. Um, side effect. Number one side effect with this is headaches and nausea, which Considering that you're doing this to try to increase libido and be more in the mood, feeling nauseous is probably not the ideal thing with it. No. Um, not everybody gets that effect, but that is the number one thing. Okay. 
typically with that, it's going to pass pretty quickly. So if you realize like, okay, I take my shot and 30 minutes later, I'm really nauseated, but at an hour it passes, then take it an hour and a half to two hours before planned activities. Is there taking it with food or anything like that, that, that might help? Or? Usually if you've got something on your stomach, it's going to help some. Okay. Um, but yeah, so headache, flushing, nausea, and then injection site redness are the most common side effects. With and you're this. saying if you can wait 30 minutes mm-hmm. post that it, it will, it'll wear off. It usually wears off. Yeah. Okay. And nausea is one of the side effects with the melanotin too, as well. Okay. And usually that, that passes within 30 to 45 minutes. One question I have is, can you take it or should you take it two days in a row? Like say you got eight doses in a month. Mm -hmm. Um, Say you want to do it. You shouldn't do two days in a row. I wouldn't. It's still effective in your system that next day because that 24 to 36 hours, I usually recommend spacing it out a couple of days between shots. Super interesting. PT-141 and the... Other word is bremelanotide. Bremelanotide. <laughs> bremelanotide. <like> <laughs> PT one forty one. We're gonna link below uh, the episodes of explain this to melanotan too, so you guys can check that out. Robin, is that a show? That's a show. That's a show. <laughs> guys, explain this. We will see y'all next time. Don't go away.